Good morning to one and all. This is Dr. P. Lavanya, working as Associate Professor in MBA Department and in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Dundigar, Hyderabad. So today we come to the case studies relating to the uh, demand forecasting. Analyzation of the demand and forecasting of the demand is one of the important aspect in economics. So based upon that, there are many live case studies where we can analyze how the companies enable to sustain or forecast the demand in the external environment. So in these, we come across the case study relating to the iPhone launch and supply chain constraints. Chain constraints. So these iPhone launch, as we know that iPhone is a famous in Indian environment and in 2003, we are able to identify that an environment itself has been given the Apple iPhone. So, Apple iPhone launches often faces challenges due to supply chain constraints. So, as we know that the first time launching of these iPhones uh, maybe created a lot of reputation in the external market and the demand has been overflowed. So, due to the overflow of these uh, demand, the constraints relating to the supply has been existed. So, we should identify in this case study how iPhone has been Apple company overcome its supply constraints and at the same way the demand for the latest iPhone is usually high and leading to the long queries and pre-order rushing. Means as the demand is more in case of for these iPhones. So here pre-order rushing and inquiries upon these iPhones are more. So however we can analyze in this case study that how these Apple company has been uh, often uh, faced the challenges while meeting the demand due to the supply chain issues as such the shortage of specific components means uh, the company's uh, attitudes or the way it's faced the challenges relating to the constraint of supply chain management and also the uh, internal shortage of the components. So we analyze all these uh, uh, components or the related factors and its impact upon the iPhone or Apple company in this case study. So come first we comes under the overview of this case study as this study explores how the fluctuations in the demand of the consumers in case of electronic segment which constrains the company's supply chain management means when there is a lot of uh, uh, fluctuations maybe sometimes the demand will be more and the, sometimes the demand will be less so based upon that the consumers where the electronic uh, items the constraints will be there relating to the fluctuation so how we can adjust these uh, uh, supply constraints relating to the uh, changeability in the demand and at the same way the case study will also highlights the importance of how we balance the demand forecasting with complexity of the global supply chains means uh, as we want to adjust the fluctuations in the demand for any sort of uh, consumer or product 100 percent demand forecasting will play an important role so for this uh, we have to identify what sort of uh, complexities uh, does these global supply chain management has been faced. So all these things we can review in this case study. First of all, we will see that this case study has been a totally a impact upon the old economy that iPhone launching and its supply constraints where the company, Apple company faced the challenges in meeting the high demand for its flagship product. Here a detailed analysis of the challenges faced by the iPhone has been given in a key points. The first challenge what the iPhone company or the Apple company has faced was high demand and pre-order rush. Means uh, by identifying the different features or the specialized uh, constraints in case of iPhones, a 100% overflow demand was existed in the external market. So lot of repetition came due to that depression, repetition, high demand was existed in the market where the pre-order rush means before uh, production itself there is a lot of orders 
faced by the organization and done a long inquiries by the consumers and public relating to the stores and how to purchase what are the uh, price and what are the features and purchasing mechanism pre order booking so lot of inquiries has been done by the public and uh, the strong brand loyalty what apple is having and anticipating the few new features given in the iphone this overwhelming the demand means uh, the rush and uh, the high order thing what they have been provided is uh, due to the brand loyalty the apple phone having its brand loyalty and uh, the new features what it was given is an impact up of this high demand so along with that some supply issues are also been faced by the apple company as challenges stem from the complexities of its global supply chains means uh, different types of uh, uh, tremendous and disadvantages came means complex uh, things come at a global supply chain as we know that uh, global supply chain management as itself involves in a or a regulatory framework as we has to uh, provide or as we has to give uh, the product at an international boundaries means uh, uh, the issues and uh, the internationally uh, different uh, types of rules and regulations will be there so globally the company faced a complexity relating to the supply and along with that disruption and shortage of the supply of chain impacted the production and availability of iphones this is one of the reason as uh, at the instant stage or at a pre production stage the cost of iphones was very very high due to the shortage of the Avail shortage and uh, availability of the raw material supply is very less. So along with that, the specific components required in the iPhone, iPhone set is uh, the qualified items which we require in case of batteries and other crucial points also lead to the delay in manufacturing and product launches. Means uh, due to these, uh, uh, what happens? Uh, the shortage of the supply of internal raw materials may be like batteries other assessing part is also taken a lot of time for the company to launch its product or adjust the distribution network so with this the importance of demand forecasting has given rise this case itself underscores the critical role of the demand forecasting in managing the supply chain management why because lot of inquiries lot of rush was there for the product but actually what component should be produced is not given by the apple company so that's why it followed the lot of demand techniques in order to manage the supply chain changes or the dynamics taken place in the external market so accurate prediction of the consumer demand helps in align the production capabilities with the market needs means 100% production technique must and should be accurate these helped the company to get need or to supply the product based upon the capabilities or requirement of the markets and the viability in the demand of the consumer electronic re requirements uh, requirements a robust the forecasting mechanism means as we know that a little bit uh, dynamism so the changes will be there in the electronic uh, products uh, as uh, always uh, the new products or the new items coming into the market by replacing the world so this has been robusted the forecasting mechanism and anticipated and addressed the what we required the potential supply constraints uh, within the organization so this uh, based upon uh, the external demand striking and also the internal constraints relating to the uh, supply chain and also the global need and also the shortage of uh, different uh, spare parts of the internal things balancing is become a very very uh, interactive uh, problem for the apple company so here the balancing is a biggest challenge which strike can make between the exciting for the new product launch and ensures the uh, adequate supply to meet the customer 
demand means uh, here the new product uh, uh, production is one side and balancing the supply chain management and adequate supply to the consumer demand become a biggest challenge but uh, the company equilibriumly managed this uh, delicate uh, thing of balancing the new product and also supply between these strategies demand generation supply chain efficiencies which has been made a crucial success or a impactable or tremendable success in the world market by launching these iPhones in the market so as we need see externally the company itself balanced the issues in a impactable manner shows that now the name fame of the success what apple iphone is enjoying in the world is the efforts made in analyzation of this balance so along with that the iphone company itself wants global supply chain management so the global nature of uh, the global nature of this iphone supply chain involves in the additional complex complexities means uh, due to the global supply chain management issues lot of additional complexity uh, complications has been taken place as internationally uh, rules regulations and the supply efforts are differed so dependency on the supply at a different regions which explore the company to the geographical and logistical changes means uh, the company itself is able to face the uh, global uh, complexities where we has to balance the uh, geographical means uh, area wise and logistic supply wise challenges so diversification of the suppliers and strategic partnership risk mitigation strategies becomes an essential to navigate the uncertainties in the global supply management so the apple company has itself has taken many measures relating to the risk handling techniques and make it very essential to identify or forecast the uncertainties and take prevention measures which help to get name and fame or world impact upon the global supply so with this this apple phone itself has been taught a lessons in a positive manner to the external companies as it serves as a valuable lessons to other companies relating to the operating the computer and consumer electronic industry so how to uh, analyze the or forecast the demand and how to balance the demand and supply constraints has been uh, handled a uh, very well by the apple company in launching of these iphones has been gave a lesson to the other companies relating to the electronic field and this also highlighted the need for resilient supply chain capabilities and adopted the unforeseen challenges means what are the challenges hidden is also been highlighted by these companies and it also learns the many companies learns the experience of this uh, apple companies uh, relating to the launch of iphones uh, related its uh, investment technology process and other enhancing the supply chain visibility agility and also the responsiveness means uh, many companies has been identified what type of uh, technology process supply uh, measures uh, careful measures taken by the company so which got a huge response in the external market so with this uh, we can say that adaptability and innovation is one of the fundamental or key aspect which gives success so this case study emphasizes uh, the need and importance of uh, adopting the new technology and innovative measures has to be identified in order to remove or face the challenges in case of supply chain considerations and all companies also find that many alternative solutions are there where we go through the innovative and technological manner and the risk to be 
distributed or mediated when disruption occurs means alternative methods where the distribution of the risk to be identified by these innovation techniques so in conclusion we can say that apple company itself analyzed the iphone launch and the supply chain considerations and it faced challenges and overcome the challenges so these overcoming of the challenges could be followed by emphasizing the relationship between or balancing between the demand forecasting and supply chain management means accurate methods are followed in demand forecasting and also the innovative techniques following in supply chain management so these challenges posed by the dynamic consumers in electronic markets and companies also draws the valuable insights for apple experiences to build the resilience supply chain and in navigating the complexities of global demand and production means uh, its apple zone gave a good case study to the world electronic companies how to handle the dynamic changes which has been occurring in the external environment and at the same way the apple phones experience has given a resilience upon the supply chain management a global vision and also navigated means showed a route for complex global demand and production means different types of hurdles how to face and how to remove is shown by this company and where we can see a very good success of these iPhones given by the Apple company which has been faced a challenges at a uh, starting step but now have facing or uh, having the world uh, reputed company in iPhone manufacturing and we go for the next case study relating to this uh, demand and uh, supply constraints so already we have seen a success story of the apple now we'll also see the another success story relating to the uh, nintendo and gaming console market so it is one type of case study relating to the gaming company where it was uh, itself influenced by the technological advances and dynamic changes which are influenced by the demand fluctuations and variations by taking the consumers preferences so this case study on nintendo gaming console such as uh, based upon the switches which explores how the company has balanced the supply and the demand during the product launches and taking the effort like the factors related to the competition seasonal demand and impact of external gaming titles so by analyzing these challenging aspects how these gaming company become ahead of all other companies and gave an a technological advances by considering the consumer preference could be analyzed in this case study first of all we'll see the success of these uh, uh, nintendo success in gaming console market so these uh, gaming console market is one type of advanced web designing uh, uh, switches uh, where which are utilized uh, in the gaming computers or the gaming laptops and others so particularly these uh, nintendo switches could be attributed a several key factors which was including their unique approaches relating to the hardware designing strategic releases related to the timing effect supply chain management and a strong focus has been done on the exclusive game titles means how that company uh, entertained the key factors which are required relating to the hardware stack section and strategic gaming decisions and what are the supply constraints it faced relating to the exciting of game titles so first innovative hardware designing has been done by this nintendo so nintendo switches they introduced a hybrid concept allowing the player to switch between hand handle and home console models means it is like an web designed models 
which we used manual handling and also the uh, computerized or the web design models. These innovation appeal a broader audience including both casual and handcore gamers. Means uh, as we know that uh, games are an important parts and parcel of nowadays uh, in these uh, any industries. So everybody is having these smartphones and the children's maybe from elders to the uh, investor itself are adapted to these gaming sectors. So that's why they gave it an innovative uh, makeup saying that both uh, casual people who tremendously plays the games and also the who was uh, uh, seriously involved in the game both are attracted by this innovative hardware design. So the versatility of console made it to understand uh, in the market attracting the consumer looking for flexible gaming experience means uh, a stiff or a single gaming experience is outdated and the game players or people want a flexible gaming experience which by utilizing the innovating hardware system has contributed by Nintendo a significantly uh, make the switches of this company a successful one. So what type of uh, strategic releases has been taken by Nintendo was uh, it has been a uh, strategic in its uh, product release timings means uh, the time was very much important while they going for these strategic decisions. Why? Because often we launch the console during the period of low competition which can help the company to avoid direct competition with major console releases and maximize its market impact. Means what time we should release these innovative techniques has a tremendous impact upon the uh, competition in the external market. So when we introduce uh, these uh, new type of consoles in case of uh, periods of lower competition, so directly it avoided the competition, direct competition was avoided and which maximizes the Nintendo's market share. So these releasing of switches in 2007 for example was widely timed between the life cycle and major consolidates giving that Nintendo a unique market positions and allowed them to attract the attention during the period of relative quiet in the industry. Means uh, what type of web designing they have been bought given in off seasons it made uh, a reputation or attracting the attention of the many people maybe when it is also not a seasonable time or timing is not good. And we will see relating to the supply chain management constraints as Nintendo Gaming itself has balanced the supply and demand which is a crucial in the gaming industry especially due to the product launches. When we are launching the product when our supply is insufficient as it is an electronic gaming industry uh, the consumers will switch off to the another gaming type. So that's why balancing of demand and supply is a crucial part for the Nintendo. And Nintendo has historically faced this challenge by meeting the demand by instant supply storage during the launch of popular products. When we are launching any good or the popular product, a fine storage of goods has been made with a good forecasting or forecasting of the demand from the market. While storing, we can create the frustration among consumers as they also contribute to the scene of scarcity. Means if scarcity comes, what type of reactions comes from the consumers is also lively identified the company which highlight in the demand. So Nintendo managed the total supply constraints in the marketing where it analyzed in a strategical and generating the additional buzz around his product means uh, itself identified the need requirement of consumers responses and turn an efficient uh, supply of the constraint uh, and create a lot of buzz or the reputation in the market. So along with that Nintendo itself also 
targeted the seasonal demand pattern as we know this gaming industry has to leverage the seasonal pattern which is very much essential for the gaming industry why because students and other people in the summer season or occasionals when they get holidays they are adopted to these gaming constraint so this seasonal demand is more for this gaming industry so where this company effectively targeted the holiday season and with key releasing or maybe new type of sessions or the new type of things released by this company which capitalized the consumer spending during their specific period means holiday sessions they converted for these gaming aspects for the students or also younger and youth so specific editions bundles exclusive game releases timed for the holiday seasons which helped the nintendos to maximize means increasing more sales and also maintain the consumer interest means balanced the company's interest of profit maximization or sales maximization along with the companies or consumers interest of playing their games so exclusively there is a lot of impact with these uh, holidays providing or seasonal game providing with the new titles new times so there is a uh, good impact or extensive impact on the exclusively game titles means uh, a given a modern or fascinating game titles which attracted the uh, people or maybe gamers uh, like students and others so this nintendo focused compelling the exclusive game titles where it is a key for consoling of sales so the titles like legend of zelda breath of the world super mario odyssey these are only the critical acclaimed but serves the system of sellers and driving the demand for the switches means these new and exciting titles uh, enhanced the gamers to go for these nintendo's demand for switches so here the company itself gone for the combination of innovative hardware and exclusive titles created a unique value propositions means uh, a innovative hardware system helped the company to have an, a good proposition for nintendo consolence so which encourage the consumer to choose uh, that company's gaming titles and the product over the competitors and in the external market nintendo got a very famous in case of switches related to this uh, gaming titles and along with that the company itself is also or taken a strategy relating to the adaptability and the flexibility so nintendo demonstrated the willingness to adapt the market to trends and consumer preferences the changing of gaming titles as we have seen the uh, legend of blelda uh, uh, and maybe odyssey so these titles attracted what the consumer required his taste and preference has been considered so which created success for the nintendo switch lights and handle head over the version of switches exemplifying the company's ability to diversify its products means uh, these consumer preferences went for adopting the flexibility and giving uh, more uh, related or repetitive products and uh, a research has been done and given the a very good adaptability and diversity in its production so which offer to cater the different segmentation in the market means uh, the nintendo itself has been created a segmented market for its product so with this uh, success of nintendo we can see in a conclusion that uh, as the market of nintendo switches has been attributed to the combination of innovating hardware design strategy releases time and effective supply management means uh, every company based upon its innovative marketing and strategies relating to the timing of uh, giving the product maybe like nintendo which gave a new titles new gaming techniques in holiday session and good supply uh, chain management to be taken into the consideration 
and with good exclusive gaming titles. Title made very good impact for the children to go for these type of games. So we can analyze the ability and the success of the company, how it handle the demand and supply along with adaptability in the marketing changes relating to the consumers preferences, taste and at the same way and market segmented the product and positioned its product make very tremendous impact. So we can say that Nintendo has played a very major play and create a positive impact in the market in the gaming industry rather than the competitors and this is the another success of the companies by understanding the external demand, forecasting the right type of techniques and balancing the demand and supply. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.